Okay, so this lesson we're going to learn how to sort of manipulate data and take your data and make a map uh, out of it. Remember, we are GIS people, so the way we communicate is, is through maps. Um, so here in a minute, we are going to uh, open up ArcMap. So here's ArcMap open. I'm going to close the catalog pane, and I'm going to load in uh, a new map. So insert new map. The default is just the topographic background. I usually like to add in the imagery with labels. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I'm also going to add in the state shape file from uh, week week three. So you can see the state shape file. Uh, well, first of all, the projection of this is a little weird. Um, so I'm going to change the projection of the map so that things aren't stretched out so much. So I'm going to right click on the map properties, go to coordinate system, and I'm going to change it from a geographic projection to a projected coordinate system. And you can choose any one of these, but obviously we're in continental North America. Now you can see the map looks a lot better. This is a conical projection. I'm going to change the appearance of the states. So I'm going to make it an outline with a yellow, a yellow outline. But next, uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this data and we're going to make a map of the 1999 population for the United States. So this is called a, a choropleth map. Uh, first, if you look at the attribute table for this data, um, and I'm going to move the attribute table up um, so I can see it a little better. There's all kinds of census information here. And you can organize this information. Um, for example, we can organize the state names in alphabetical order by just right clicking on the state name. Uh, and saying sort ascending. And so that alphabetizes the names A through W. So you can see Wyoming's the last state down there. We could also do sort descending. So it lists Wyoming first and then Alabama last. We can do the same thing with the population 1999 data. Sort ascending and sort descending. And also get statistics about the population in 1999. So I just right clicked on POP 1999 and did statistics and it gives you a chart here. Um, and then on the right it tells you the sum of all the people in the United States, which 272 million people in 1999 lived in the United States.
So now what we're going to do is make a choroplast map of the 1999 population information. So we're going to highlight states, we're going to go up to appearance, and we're going to click on symbology, and we're going to click on graduated colors. And we're going to make sure and choose POP 1999 for our field. And there you can see we just quickly made a map, a five-class choropleth map of the population in 1999 of the United States. see over in the table of contents on the left it tells you the different classes and the numbers uh, for each class and so you can pick out some patterns here obviously most of the people live on the East Coast with the exception of Texas and California not a lot of people live in the mountain states so uh, makes sense but you can pick out patterns easily that way I think you'd agree it's easier to pick out patterns looking at a map than it is uh, looking at this in a chart or a table. Next what we're going to do is we're going to make the same kind of map except we're going to normalize by area. So it's going to give us population per square mile. Okay, So when you normalize by a field you're just dividing those two things. And again, this is given as population in 1990 uh, by people per square mile. And I'm going to bump the classes up to 7. And there you can see just a little different story. Again, um, we've got in the mountain states, we have a lot of area and not a lot of people per area. In the eastern seaboard, we've got not a lot of area and a lot of people live in that area. So um, you can certainly see the story of the United States with people per square mile. Bigger in the East Coast, not so much in the West, in the uh, mountain states. The exception for that, though, is California. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to make a map out of this. Uh, let's say we want to show someone what we found, what the population in 1990 was per square mile. Now we need to communicate that with a map. So we're going to go ahead and go to Insert, New Layout. Uh, we're just, you can see different sizes you can choose. We're just going to go ahead and uh, make, it a, make this a letter size. Uh, but we're going to choose Landscape since the United States is wider than it is taller. Uh, so because of that, again, we're going to choose 8.5 by 11, but we're going to make it um, landscape. Okay, so we have our new layout in there. Next, we're going to um, right-click on map frame and choose the map 1 to 16 million map because that's the one we've been working with. You can see that gets added into um, the, the map area there. We're going to kind of stretch it out. Sometimes you may have to click back into uh, or double click the layout and activate it. And when you or right click and say activate, and that allows you to sort of pan the area or the map around, zoom in and zoom out to get it right where you want it. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to um, add in the various map elements, title, legend, scale bar, what have you. And so to do that, you're in the insert tab, and you're going to, first thing we're going to do is add in some text um, for a title. Okay, 
Okay, so we're going to insert text. We're going to name the title appropriately. So right click and go to properties and you can format the text over on the right hand side. There's kind of a lot of different options here, but you can go to text and then general. Uh, most everything is under text symbol. So you can pick which kind of font you want. You can bold it. You can make it bigger if you like, different colors. Um, I'm going to center the text. Instead of left justified, I'm going to center it. A lot of different things you can play with that you can do on your own, but you can see when I applied that, it changed the text, right? And I'm going to move it over into the middle of the map. Uh, next thing we're going to do is add in the legend. Pretty simple. Uh, notice it's kind of hard to see the legend. So I'm going to put a background behind it. There's the background. Uh, I'm going to kind of uh, manipulate the legend a little just to make it look a little better. One thing I am going to do is states and pop 1999 slash area doesn't make a lot of sense to people. So I'm going to go over to my table of contents area and I'm going to change where it says states. So again, I'm going to click where it says map, and I'm going to click where it says states, and click again, and I'm going to type in United States. I'm also going to click where it says pop 9099 slash area, and I'm going to call that pop period 1999 per square mile. And notice when I do that and click back to layout, my legend has also changed now, and that looks a lot better. Next thing we're going to do is uh, add in a north arrow. So there's my north arrow. I added in a scale bar. And there you can see there's a quick map we made of um, population in the United States per square mile. Um, pretty simple, pretty easy. We could share this map if we wanted to. We could export it as a PDF. Um, we could print this map out on, on paper. Uh, a lot of things we could do to share this. Uh, but thanks, and if you have any questions, make sure you let me know.